Hey, what's up guys? Second Kirby here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the Draconic Chest from Draconic Evolution. Oh yeah, so this chest is absolutely massive. No kidding. Take a look at this. This this chest has 234 slots, a built-in crafting table, five slots for smelting, which is which is capable of uh, which is capable of doubling ores. See, let's get some let's get some iron so that I can show you. I'll go ahead and just do like five stacks of iron ore. Now, of course, for this to of course for the smelter to work, you need to use that you need to have power connected to it. So I made a I made a power uh, made a power channel on here. See, now it has power. All right, so let me show uh, let me put this iron in here and. Okay, let's do, um, all. Hmm? Okay, I, clearly I don't know what the auto feed does. I think I just need to manually put these in here. How many does this do at once? Hmm. This looks like it does five at once, especially if one slot is full. Ooh, that's really good. It does five or at once, and it doubles it. Which isn't nearly as good as the quintupling from mechanisms, sorry. Anyway, uh, the recipe for the draconic chest. You are going to need four draconium ingots, two obsidian chests, a furnace, a crafting table, and a draconic core. Draconic cores are made with four draconium, four gold, and a diamond. Obsidian chests are diamond chests surrounded by obsidian. Diamond chests, you either need three diamonds, five glass and a silver chest, or two diamonds, six glass, and a gold chest. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain you guys can find out the diamond or the uh, iron chest recipes from there. All right. So, uh, another property of the draconic chest is that you can change its colors. C a color edit mode is now true. So uh, you can right click, uh, you can right click green, red, or blue dye to adjust the color. So let's get red. Uh, here we go. Uh, lapis and cactus. Here we go. Put this back. See, look, it's getting it's getting more and more red. What do you think? That's a little pink. If you if you right click the bottom half, uh, so if you right click the top half. If you right-click the top half, it uh, it increases uh, it increases the uh, the color value. If you right-click the bottom half, it decreases. See, now it's getting more and more blue. So if we do if we do some more blue, and then maybe a little bit of green. Eventually, you can get this chest to be completely white. But you can make it you can make it like any color you want, and then you can. Uh, you can right click with paper, or you can right click the chest with paper. You can right click the chest with paper to save the uh, save the color, and and put it on a different one. Uh, assuming the color edit mode is true. See. All right, guys. I I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I know the draconic chest is a uh, like a massive inventory. I mean. Uh, I mean, it's it's really help it's really helpful. Like, if if you have a lot of stuff and you don't really want to, you don't really want to like have a bunch of chests. Of course, it, of course, it is like draconic. It is draconic. So, I mean, you'd have to find some draconium ore in the world, or you'd have to go to the end and uh, and try to harvest some either before or after you beat the Ender Dragon. Anyway, if you guys enjoy these tutorials, please give this video a like, as it helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials, feel free to post in the comments or message me on Twitter or Google Plus what mod you'd like to see next. That'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Later!